it's truly special. And I say that, I'm a little biased because I've spent my whole career here and I plan to, I'm not going anywhere. With our two principals here who are in the classrooms every day, supporting teachers, supporting kids, I feel that Salisbury Central has a bright future because we put kids first. We pinch ourselves every day that how lucky we are. In a small school like this, we have really special relationships and we can make an impact on these kids' lives. You know, we're role models to them. Our relationships as adults are role models for the kids in their own relationships. The kids are so observant, they hear and see everything. That compliment that you gave them or that piece of feedback that you gave them that really inspired them, it's like a superpower that the <laughs> teachers have. The kids are trying to be confident. They're learning to be self-advocates. They're learning to communicate clearly with other people. And I feel like they're gonna have the ability to demonstrate those things in many different ways. The 6th, 7th, and 8th graders all get to go and help up the hill if you want to, instead of doing an I block and an E block. We go up to help kindergarten, and they all love us, and we go like twice a week, and it's just really fun. We have big buddy, little buddy collaboration in almost every grade level. And hearing the way that the students' voices changed when they talked to the younger kids was really a nice thing to see and a little unexpected. Like the first day, all we did was play in the playground, so you got to know your buddy. The sixth graders were so excited to be back on their old playground. It's a great way to bring the buildings together. I feel like our school really gives that opportunity for the older students to be mentors for the younger students, which is great. Our school is the largest elementary school in Region 1. Uh, we have been hovering around 300 plus or minus students for quite a few years now. We obviously have EK through 8th grade. Uh, it's split into two buildings. And it's exciting for them when, when there are 6th graders to come down the hill. It's, they're the big kids now. There are so many different experiences that we're able to do here, which is really special. Between the SOAR program that we have and our LAE and Mays enrichment, our math and language arts, we have parents who are involved and they come in and do activities with us. I think that we have built a really strong foundation, so I think that our future is just going to be building off of that and, and growing. The wonderful part about student leadership is that students can decide what's important to them. Student leadership is where you plan a lot of stuff for the school. We do food drives, coin drives, so it's all for like a good cause. We do an auction, talent show, we do a lot of stuff for the school. Student Council is teaching you definitely how to be confident and how to be a leader. Right now we're working on like fall festival stuff. I love the school. I couldn't imagine me not being at this school. Salisbury is really good and it like gives you really good friendships to carry on forever and into high school. I went to school here. Uh, I was a student, you know, back in the day, and it was special then. It was a place I loved to be. And then when the opportunity came to come back here, that magic is still here. There's something about the kids, the families, the teachers. Like, I feel like we're all a unit, and we're all rooting for each other, and everybody steps up. I find myself impressed with them all the time. You know, Stephanie came to Salisbury Central as a teacher first and that, I think, makes a really good principal. She understands what it's like to be in our shoes every day. Being a teacher is something that is never going to be boring. I feel like the culture is more, let's build each other up and work together to make a great place. I feel like there's no competition. I feel like it's really a place where we can all work together and grow. So I became a teacher because when I was you know, seven, eight, nine years old, I would come visit my sister who worked here at Salisbury Central and I would help her set up her classroom and I would help her organize her books. I wanted to be just like her. And um, when I graduated college, I knew exactly where I was going. I was coming right here. What she did, I saw her make such an impact on these little kids and I just knew that was what I wanted to do.